Students at Lafayette Jeff High School are taking a stand against bullying using a creative way to get their message across. News Channel 18's Aaron Leedy explains how a simple camera is delivering a big message. Aaron, what are they doing? Well, Nicole, thanks to grant money, students were able to use production equipment to make videos devoted to raising awareness about bullying. Tonight, their hard work made it to the big screen. It was a star-studded event of sorts at Lafayette Jefferson High School. Cameras flashed as people made their way down the red carpet. But under all the glitz lied a serious message students and teachers like Shannon White wanted to get across. It started off as a project just in class. We had some grant money from the Public Schools Foundation of Tippecanoe County, and they bought us video equipment and some computers for the students to make these uh, movies about an issue going on in their generation. That issue? Bullying. Students in White's social studies class made anti-bullying videos and premiered them to the community. But this initiative stretches far beyond her class. Art students made anti-bullying posters. Kids as young as third grade wrote stories about their bullying experiences. And Tecumseh Junior High students also made videos. White says sometimes the student may be reluctant to say anything if they're being bullied. There's repercussions, there's consequences when they speak up sometimes. Sometimes when a student tries to seek help, the bullying gets worse. I've had a lot of friends that have been bullied in the past and it's just really hard to see them have to go through the things that they have to go through in order to get out of being bullied. Bullying hits home for sophomore Ryan Walters. He says he's been bullied in the past and it's time the issue stops, not just for him, but for everyone. People need to do more than just um, be a bystander or be the bully or be the victim. That we all need to, we all have to stand out and have a voice and have to stop this. And the videos are expected to be available online for the public to see in the coming days. Aaron Leedy, News Channel 18.